How's it going? What's going guys? And welcome back to Skyrim Sunday. This is Legend of a Badass and I think this is like episode 90 or something like that. I, I can't really remember. I'm recording this one straight after the last one. I just killed a wolf. Yay, I killed a wolf. And now, what are we doing this time? We've still got this dog following us. This 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 guy here. Who, 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 what are you doing? He's trying to hump me now. Is this dog trying to... He is. He is trying to hump me. He's pushing me backwards. Stop it, you are creepy. You are far too creepy to be allowed. But yeah, we're trying to find this cave. There's a cave up here somewhere that we need to get into. And I think I found the way up here. Because we are getting attacked by vampires. And that is... That's kind of usually what happens when we're trying to find these caves. Come on. There we go. Kill it. Kill it dead. And it's dead. Where's the other one? Oh shit, there's another one. Holy crap. I killed a vampire dog. Dun 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 dun. The mightiest of enemies. <laughs> the vampire dog. Alright, well we should take some things off this woman. Um, I think what we're going to do once we've found the entrance to the cave is we're going to have to go and sell some stuff. Because as it stands, we, we have way too much of everything. Far too much stuff. And Oh, hello. What's this? Have I been here before? No, 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 no. We're not getting sidetracked. Not again. That keeps happening. It's not going to happen again. Maybe maybe we should just discover the location, though. Wait, I think we've already discovered the location. That's that's good. That's good. We need to get to this cave, which is down here. If this is going to be a horrible drop to doom, then maybe maybe I'll take the road less traveled. Ah! Actually, to be honest, I think this is the road less traveled. Oh, whoa, whoa, I think I found a way in. I think I, I have. I found a way in. Excellent. Okie dokie, we found the way to Rimrock Burrow. But before I go in there, I am going to go and sell some stuff. Because I've got far too much stuff and I need to sell some of it. At least a little bit. So, what's the best place? Morthal's quite good for selling. Although I find White Run is the best. So yeah, I'm, I'm going to go to White Run just because there's so many places to sell there. You've got like the general store, you've got the weapons guy. Like there's loads of people in White Run that you can sell to. So I should be able to buy, find someone to buy all those shields off me, actually. Oh, what about that mace? There's a guy who wanted that mace. I'm not sure where I need to go to give it to him, but there's a guy. I should probably consult that little book that I've got. I've got this um, Skyrim walkthrough book that I got with the game, and I've just never used it. I just don't use the walkthrough books. Like, if I did, I'd probably know where to go, but, you know, <laughs> that's not how it works, is it? Ah, uh, what? how is it shut? It's 12 p.m. Who shuts at 12 p.m.? Wait, can I buy off her? Got some good pe Okay, Take cool. I can buy off her. Brilliant. I thought they just shut the entire shop. I was going to be like, what? Who does that? What kind of madman would shut a shop? Alright, I'm going to sell one of the dwarven maces. And I'm going to keep the other. Because that was the thing that I needed to keep for that uh, that objective. So, glass arrow. No, what do we got here? Elven shield of waning magic. We'll sell that. I have quite a lot of pelts. Now that I look at it, I think I can probably make quite a bit of leather out of all these pelts. Saves me selling it to her, doesn't it? Okay, so... I'm going to make some leather. I'll just keep creating all the leather. And then I'll create a couple of level strips. You know, not too many. But now we might be able to make some leather stuff. And then once we make some leather stuff, we can sell it back to her. Yeah? Ooh, studded armor. Can I make any imperial stuff? Uh, we've just got the basic leathers. Leather armor, dwarven... Oh, I can make a dwarven bow. Wow. I'm going to make that. Yeah, I'm going to make dwarven bow. Dwarven bow. And what about elven stuff? Can we make any elven stuff? There's a lot of elven stuff to make, but we can't make any of it. Uh, so we should probably go back to the leathers. So that sells for 125. So we'll make as many of them as we can. There we go. All done. And Have you met now my we can sell these He's to a her. Steward up at Dragon's no, no, I don't I want that. I want to sell some stuff. Wait, where are you going? People looking to protect yourself or deal some damage? Deal some damage, but that's not why I'm here. Why I'm here is to sell you some of these. There we go. I've now got the 5,000 I need all to right. buy myself a plot of land. Woohoo. It's all good. It's looking up. All right, there's another guy over here. He's going to gonna be able to buy my useless potions. And I think he's the everything and but guy. Wait, is that him? Why is everything shut here? 
<laughs> Who's been shutting up? Is it? Oh, it's lunchtime. Maybe that's why. I'm going to assume that the residents of Skyrim have lunch and food. Well hey, they do. So they must close between 12 and 1 or something to go and grab themselves some lunch. I understand. I, I understand why they would do that. <laughs> Guy needs to get himself some food. Actually, now that I talk about it, I need to get some food. Ooh, now that I'm thinking about it. Ooh, those apples look good. Ooh, and those potatoes. Sexy. All right, anyway. Dude. I'd even buy one of your relatives if you're looking to sell. That's a bit creepy. Oh, a bit of this and a bit of that. So you're going to buy my relatives and do a bit of that and a bit of this. And that smile doesn't help matters, does it? All right. Moving on, we want to sell the apparel. That's the one. Silver necklace. See, this guy will buy everything. That's why I like this guy. Dwarven bow. Oh, oh yeah, we just made that, didn't we? Uh, I have lots and lots of arrows. Maybe I should sell some of them. Because look, like, really, 579 arrows, although they don't sell for anything. Although these, that sells for quite a bit. You know what? Yeah, I'm going to sell all those. That's 449. That's quite a lot. Uh, Ancient Nord Arrow. Doesn't sell for anything. Ah, I went out. Trinkets, I wasn't done yet. Ends, that sort of thing. Okay, okay. Keep talking. Keep talking. Yeah, it's all good. Let's go and let's do some stuff. Let's, let's do some business, man. It's business. Uh, blacks for 30 seconds. Weapon armor improving is 20% better. I should probably use that for when I do blacksmithing. Uh, Ancient Magicka. Pickpocking. Water breathing. I... I can breathe underwater, I think. Can I breathe underwater? I've never drowned. At least I don't think I've drowned. I, I would remember drowning. It sounds like one of those things you'd remember, right? You know? <laughs> it's a horrible thing to happen. Drowning. It's kind of a bit scary, you know? Anyway, um, where are we going? So we want to go back to that cave. Because despite the fact that we didn't do any of the Hearthfire DLC today, we have almost done a mission with a dog. So, I think I'm a winner there. <laughs> Did a mission for some random dog. Walk away a saint. Yep, that's how it works. Awkward silences. Wow, that was awkward. That was very awkward. See, this is why I talk all the time. Otherwise, it gets incredibly awkward. Now, where, where is the entrance to this cave? Oh, there it is. There's the entrance to the cave. Okay. For a moment then, I thought it had um, spawned me somewhere completely random that wasn't actually anywhere near the cave. But it's okay. It's okay. It's all good. And do I have a cup of tea around here? I do have a cup of tea. Brilliant. Good. Good to know. Okay, so doggy. Doggy, you following? Good, 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 good. Good. We will go this way and adventure. Adventure with gusto. Alright, where are my swords? Oh, what the hell is that? It's a flamey death beast. Come on, you flamey death beast. The flame Atronach. Go down. Is she dead? She's dead. And I'll take the fire salts. Because there's a mission with them. Holy mother of God. What is hitting me? What is hitting me? I'm being bombarded by something. I can't move. I'm frozen in place. Come on. Come on, run. Run. Why are you so slow? Sorry. Hit it with a fire. Sebastian Lord. Who the hell is Sebastian Lord? Come on then, Sebastian. While you're fighting the dog, I'm hacking the crap out of you. I won. That was that was kind of easy against Sebastian Lord. Chance Giva High, Common Soul Gem. Yep, I'll take all these. Spell Tome, Less Award. Now, I've done that one quite a few times, although that can sell. Increase armor rating by 40 points. And against da da da. Uh, no, no. Glass Dagger can sell for a decent amount. That's not too shabby. So, how you doing, doggy? That was a pretty epic battle, wasn't it? It was amazing. Now, what is this? Oh, we found it. So, the Rueful Axe, I can sell that for a thousand, even though it's not mine, is it? So, I probably shouldn't be selling it. Um, but, but still, I'm sure, I'm sure he won't mind. Wait, what, the, what are you doing, dog? Is this dog pushing me? Yep, this dog's pushing me around again. God damn it, I will kill you. I will, I will do it, I swear to God. If you stop pushing me, I'm, I'm, I'm stupid doggy. Okay, now we want to get out of here. 
Wait, was there a chest in there? There's usually always a chest. Is there a chest? Oh, a chest. Is there anything? There does not seem to be anything. No, no, there's no chest. Okay, fair enough. All right, let's leave, dog. Come on, buddy. What are you doing? Wait, do you want us to go that way? Because I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. This way looks... Oh, there we go. There's the chest. I knew we'd find one. Okay, Common Soldier, 209. Iron Helmet, no. Elven Bow of Blizzards. Oh, yes. That is, wow, 23 damage. I think that does more than the one I'm currently equipped. Let's have a look. Uh, do, 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 do. That's the Elven Dagger. Stuff for Fibles. Supple Ancient Nord Bow. That's 25 damage. Against the blow of biz... Ah, oh, only 23. Although the target takes 25 points of frost damage to health and stamina. That's pretty good. It's not bad. But that burns the targets for two points. Ah, uh, target on fire to take its damage. I'm going to stick with the supple engine or bow. I'll stick with that for the time being. All right, let's take that. Pretty soul gem. Thank you. There's a troll head. A children and Nord. Okay. Sounds like a very interesting book. Anything else around? No, nothing else around that could be any use to us. Except we could take the wine and get absolutely pissed. <laughs> just steal all the wine and then get slaughtered. Just blah, 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 stumbling around like an old drunk. Swinging his sword like a madman. Like a madman. All right. So we want to, we want to return to that guy's statue and give him the axe. Wait. Because that guy was a statue, wasn't he? I know he's like a, a Daedric prince or something like that. But if we give him the axe, is he going to then like break three and just cause chaos? Because he seems like the kind of god that would do that. But I suppose there is only one way to find out. And that's to go and have a bit of a chat with this guy. So we're, we have traveled miles to get here. Jesus, we went all the way across the world. That dog, he traveled there on foot. I fast travel, but the dog on foot. Yeah. The dog's more badass than me. <laughs> I probably wouldn't have got a cart or something. Like, in between the fast travel scenes. I wonder how he does it. I know it's just a game and he just transports instantly. But, you know, if you make it think that it's real, like, he just gets in a car or pulls out a motorbike or something and just rides across. Dog! Can you stop pushing me? Fuck's sake, what do you do? I will be glad to be rid of you, dog. I really will. Oh, my blood boils. My blood boils as my vampire powers awaken. Um, I, I just became a vampire. What the hell? Since when am I a vampire? I'm pretty sure this guy doesn't like vampires. There's been vampires all along the way. So, yes, I'm a vampire now. <laughs> when did that happen? How am I going to go back? Maybe that's why the Dawn Guard keep attacking me. Because they think I'm a bloody vampire. Because I am a bloody vampire. When did that happen? Can somebody please confirm this for me? Did this happen at some point in the series? Did, did I go through like a quest line or something that turned me into a vampire? And I've just completely ignored that fact. Because that that would do that's something I would do. I would forget. And I I would never remember. It's like, oh wait, well, I was a vampire? What? What are you talking about? Kind of kind of nonsense you chat. No, I'm not a vampire. You madman. But despite that, apparently I am. So do I have vampire arms and everything? Wait, what 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 am, what am I doing? Why am why am I why are my swords not actually there? <laughs> glitchy, it's all gone very glitchy, and I can't see my weapons. Good to know that after a year they've uh, patched out all the glitches, eh? I'm not complaining. Uh, you know, in a game as big as this, there is really no way that you're going to be able to patch out every glitch. It's like Fallout, for instance. I've gone back and I've been playing that recently, and yeah, there's glitches everywhere. You still fall through the floor. You end up in beige. It's just, it's just one of the game's quirks, you know. It happens like, yeah, all right, that's kind of funny. And I still don't have any swords. <laughs> I really don't hope I get into combat. That could, uh, that could screw things up for me. So where is this statue? I think we just travelled through the entire cave system again just to get to this one statue. We probably should have gone out, gone in through the back way. 
Oh, 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 I recognise this. We are close. We are definitely close. Da, ah, ah, we're almost there. We're almost there. Is the dog still following me? Okay, the dog might be dead. That's that's a possibility. Holy crap. How am I supposed to fight these guys without swords? It's okay. It's okay. It's something sort of magical. Why are they attacking me? I'm a vampire. This is this is making less and less sense each time. <laughs> now being attacked because by vampires. Ah, you've got the axe. I did. And my dog. I know, right? Splendid. Now fulfill your end of the bargain. Excellent work. A hero and his faithful companion retrieving the ancient artifact for the prince. It's almost storybook. It is, isn't it? Very story. Ah, oh, but it almost seems a shame to give a weapon like that away, doesn't it? I suppose I could be persuaded to let you keep it. Oh, okay, go on. But only if you use the axe to kill Barbus. Simple as that. What the f No. I sure would like to keep this axe. I don't, you know what? I, I have nothing against the dog, and I don't want the axe, so no deal. You can take the axe and take back the dog. Huh. You're no fun at all. Guess I'll have to make my own fun elsewhere. <laughs> and with the pup back, I'll be restored to my full power. What? There's a whole world just waiting for me! Okay. Is this guy going to go and kill people? So... Yeah, yeah, dog gets monster, monster gets cosmic axe. Everyone's happy. Just get over here, Matt. I feel like maybe I've done something bad. Wait, so should we talk to the dog? What the hell? You forget how nice supreme power feels until you've been stuck in a cave for a few years. It's a shame you wished for something so dull as me taking back the mutt. Quite the lack of imagination on your part. Up yours, buddy. A lack of ambition like that really ought to be punished. Perhaps by turning you into a worm. Wait, what? Or maybe a few decades of... Hmm. Decades of what? Oh, fine. Have my boon and be done with it. Got more interesting deals to make anyway. Okay, that's weird. All right, so he's he's gone, he's gone, and I'm having his boon. What is his boon? Is it in that chest up there? Is that where his boon's gonna be? <laughs> All right, um, fair enough. I I've done the mission. Yes, I I gave the dog back to the Daedric Prince, and I suppose that means that I'm now friends with the Prince. So I suppose I can call on him whenever I want to be like, hey, hey, Prince, come here, come here, come here, come here. Man. He's like, yeah, what do you want? See that guy over there? Yeah, I see that guy over there. Go kill that guy over there. Do you remember that time I got you that axe? I'll go and kill the guy. He's not happy about it, but you know, these things have to be done. Okay, so we actually managed to finish a quest in this episode, which is good. Something we don't usually do. We usually bimble around and get lost. So we completed a quest, so yay! It's a quest complete, everybody party. And on that note, I'm going to end that Skyrim Sunday there. Unfortunately, I am. I know, I didn't do any of the things that I wanted to do. I didn't do the Hearthfire DLC. Um, but maybe next time, that's something we're going to be leading up to. I know Murdoch did that. Um, compre comprehensive guide for me, which I am going to go back to. I'm going to go back to that Murdoch, so trust me. Don't worry, buddy. Don't worry. I know. It's cool. So, yeah. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for joining me in Skyrim Sunday. 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 I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time. So, have a, have a good time, guys. Bye-bye. Good time? Yes, good time. Yeah, that works. See you later. <laughs>